Hey guys, True Gamer Z here, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you the top five PSP life simulation games. So I hope you guys enjoy and give a like if you enjoyed it. So the number five is the Sims still for the PSP. So this is not the Sims that you actually be expecting because this has nothing to do with families or marriage or all those kind of things. No, this is actually a game with a story. This is the Sims uh, meets story. And that is pretty weird and that's why this game isn't uh, that uh, positive. This game got a 48 on Metacritic which is very bad. Um, but that's just because the story is rather rather weird. So the game is about you uh, playing and uh, you want to go to Strange Town but there's something going on. So uh, once you're getting on the road uh, you get cra crashed into a tank station and you want uh, your car to be fixed by a car panther, but that dude uh, uh, said he wants to fix your car. But then suddenly the whole building um, just disappeared, and you get a call that you need to uh, go to somebody who knows more about it. And and a lot of rare things happening there. Also aliens, uh, vampires, strange, all this kind of things. So if you are enjoying a little bit story, um, then this game is pretty cool. Uh, it also got the live simulation elements and also a very new social system. So in this game you have a kind of mini game that you need to press the buttons for um, like another for, um, for another social thing to start. So here we see uh, the player like uh, socializing with Bella, uh, one of the main characters in the game. So um, it's like she you greet and then you need to press the buttons in order to uh, yeah go further and uh, the one thing that I pretty hate about this is that's so simple but it will get a, uh, a little bit different and uh, difficult in the, uh, when you're far in the game so if you enjoy life simulations and stories then this game is definitely something more for you so please check it out it's pretty cool so at number four we have the innocent life futuristic harvest moon so this game is about harvest moon it's actually um, the representation of Harvest Moon on the PSP. Uh, everything from Harvest Moon is in it. Uh, farming, life simulation, um, the graphics look a lot like Harvest, uh, Harvest Moon. So if you are into that franchise then this is definitely something for you. This game uh, is a little bit different from the other one though because it has a lot more of a weird, uh, another kind of story, a little bit PSP like story. Because it's about um, not a human uh, person, no it's about you, uh, our robot boy coming from the um, uh, I think from the space and uh, uh, two um, people see you and then they adopt you and after that everything uh, yeah you will live in with them and then you need to um, farm and the cool thing about this is that uh, as a robot boy you have extra abilities you can uh, like um, you have always an, uh, you're always how do you call that um, always tools with you so and you can also it's a lot more futuristic. You also have cars and not like those old World West things in Harvest Moon for the original franchise. So, hope you guys, if you enjoy Harvest Moon, get it. So, Real Madrid uh, game is number three. So, this game is about you um, getting invited to become the world star and become the new talent of Real Madrid. Because the coach, she uh, sees you, uh, saw you playing with your friend and he thought about uh, joining the. Uh, first team which is something that would never happen in for everyone in their lives <laughs> but yeah this dude was lucky and then you will get to the field and um, yeah there are all kinds of mini games like this one the fitness mini game which uh, you need to button mash and yeah those mini games make it really cool you can also date other girls in the game and it has a lot of life simulation things in so very cool if you like soccer and life simulation games get it so at number two we have a very weird Japanese game. This game is called Portable Island, and uh, this game allows you to have your own little resort or island, and you can do whatever you want. And you, yes, you can also uh, play the ukulele. You will look like a complete retard, but okay, you can do that if you like. And um, yeah, so a very cool game. You need to import it though. And at number one we have The Sims 2: Castaway. This game is one of the best life simulation games I've ever played because this game is like you need to survive on the island you need to get resources uh, tools and everything but the crafting system is so cool because you can get farther you can get new ingredients and it's just so much fun so guys if you enjoyed this life simulation top 5 then please like and comment 
The reason why I created this top 5 is because my best video is a PSP game about free roaming games. It's a very long time ago, I think 4 years, that I had uh, not a video of PSP. So hope you guys enjoyed. And if you enjoyed the video, then please like and comment. And maybe I will make a new PSP video very soon. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoy it and have a great day. True Gamers GL.